like that. I do not appreciate being spoken to in that tone of voice. What? Oh. Oh, the story reading of my best guess? Right. Um... Just one second. Oh, this hurts, you crazy bitches! Kill him! Hey! hey! What did I say about talking to me like that? The locksmith is on his way, and I said that I was gonna figure out, uh, that other thing. I said I was sorry. Look, I have to do the story reading, so you just sit back and relax and enjoy the pain. I mean, that's what you came here for, right? Right, um... Uh, my best guess is, um... It's a metaphorical story about choices. This guy has his pregnant wife in the hospital, and things don't go as planned, so he has to decide who the doctor should save, his pregnant wife or their unborn baby. It's a horrible decision, so he runs across the street to this bar where he gets advice from all these bar flies whose opinions are formed by their occupation. Did I go anywhere? I'm right here. Oh my god, the pain! Get me out of here! <laughs> my best guess, written by Warren Lamb. <clears throat> the surgeon responds first. See? That's what's wrong with society today. We all have to blame someone. Someone is always at fault. Why can't people accept that fact? That it's just part of nature that we have to die. Mm. I don't want to die. It's only a story. Mm. Yeah, interjects the half-drunk, half-witted barfly Simon. I can't accept that I have to pay for a lap dance, but no one actually dances on my lap. No one does the macarena or the rumba. They just swing their hips. Bingo! <laughs> We're in business. Sorry, okay? Like, how was I supposed to know that whip was a real whip? Right? <laughs> Look, scars are sexy. <gasps> See? You're already starting to scab! <laughs> Get me out of here! Somebody help me! Help me! <sighs> I so fucking need a timeout, okay? Okay. <sighs> Life is full of bad investment and bad choices, responds the finance expert. Female white Johnny Cochran is ready with a rebuttal. I'm merely advocating that when someone dies, someone besides yourself should be the one paying for the funeral. You've lost a loved one. Life fucked you over. Someone has to pay. Damn lawyers. Somebody should sue them for being lawyers. <laughs> Wow, uh... Not going well. What kind of Hellcat are you? What? Hellcat? Whoa, well, I'll show you Hellcat. <laughs> La 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 <sighs> See, I told you I would think of something. You know, when water is frozen, it expands. So, <laughs> with this, that sucker is gonna shoot right out. Give it a second. We should give it a second. The surgeon responds, 
When God sends a lightning bolt into a forest, you don't see the bunnies with their homes torched, loved ones in ashes. Oh my God. You don't see them going after God with a lawsuit. They accept that these things happened. Oh yeah, female white Johnny Cochran replies. That's because bunnies don't know about legal representation. If those furry little woodland creatures come into my office, I'd swear I'd go to a court of law with a bunnies versus Jehovah case that's so airtight. After I'm through, God's gonna be one poor ass white deity who won't be too liberal with those lightning bolts anymore. Hello, Felicia. What's all the noise? Hey, my trip got canceled. You wanna go out for a drink? Felicia? Hello? Oh, no. Felicia? <laughs> oh my god. What are you doing? Okay, Liz, it's like this. Um, he called and he didn't know that you were going out of, you know, and he was begging for a session. And you know, you always tell me that these guys are like children and I am a substitute teacher. So I just decided to, you know, and, um, and then, uh, well, you're right. Your job is way harder than it looks. Mr. Weber, are you okay? <coughs> Mr. Weber, are you okay? <coughs> I am so sorry about this. I'm gonna make it up to you. I swear. Hey, it worked. That's not what it's used for. Hey, well, where were you two hours ago? These knots are gonna take hours for me to untie. God, what were you in a past life? A, a sailor? I, I'm gonna be over here finishing the story reading thing. You're doing that too? Hey, do weren't here. This female white Cochran spoke with such conviction, I think that we all felt converted. I want to talk to female white Cochran about the possibility of suing God for all those aggravated instances when I can't find my keys. You look cute in that. Really? I didn't think I had the boobs for it. Oh, that reminds me, I borrowed a sweater of yours. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> right, so that other guy called. That other guy passed out his Uncle Manny? Oh. Well, that's a dilemma. 